Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and as we continue to pray in a special way this month for people who have died, I'd like to share with you something that St. John Paul II said in 1999 about purgatory, how it's not a place, but a condition. Quote, in following the gospel exhortation to be perfect like the Heavenly Father during our earthly life, we are called to grow in love, to be sound and flawless before God the Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. Moreover, we are invited to cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit because the encounter with God requires absolute purity. Every trace of attachment to evil must be eliminated, every imperfection of the soul corrected. Purification must be complete, and indeed, this is precisely what is meant by the Church's teaching on purgatory. The term does not indicate a place, but a condition of existence. Those who, after death, exist in a state of purification are already in the love of Christ, who removes from them the remnants of imperfection. One last important aspect which the Church's tradition has always pointed out should be reproposed today, the dimension of communio. Those, in fact, who find themselves in the state of purification are united both with the blessed who already enjoy the fullness of eternal life and with us on this earth. Just as in their earthly life, believers are united in the one mystical body, so after death, those who live in a state of purification experience the same ecclesial solidarity which works through prayer and love for their other brothers and sisters in the faith. Purification is lived in the essential bond created between those who live in this world and those who enjoy eternal beatitude.